Hello, my name is Daniel Brookshire, and I'm here to give you another tutorial on how to use our Magic Draw Katia tools. What we're going to do today is create a map like I have below with various relationships showing aggregation, uh, which is going to be the part relationship references. We're also going to show value prop and port composition. Let's start off by creating a new map, create diagram map, and I'm going to set the top of this to the parent block, which is the top of that model we were looking at. Here, it doesn't see anything yet because we have to create relationship criteria. So the first thing we're going to do is a meta chain, and I have to treat this a little bit differently. I have to clear out to this and the way I do that is by going down and selecting the context of this and reset. We're going to insert a filter there in a minute but let me go back up to the meta chain and I'm going to do an insert and what's going to be returned from the filter is properties and then from the property we're going to navigate to the property type and that's what's going to be shown for the nodes away from this relationship. Also change the name here, I call that part property. I'm going to change my style. The next thing we're going to do is set up that context to be a filter. And on the input of this, we have yet another meta chain. This time block. And we need attribute slightly different and I prefer to use own attribute here and then we're going to check some properties and I really need two different kinds of property here let's do the aggregation property first I want to aggregate and I want this to be composite okay so there's the parent there's the composite child then we have some other composite child but also notice a full port and a proxy. Now in UML that would have probably been enough because everything is either going to be composite or or not. In our case because this is SysML I need to filter this go to the criteria in our filter and I'm going to add a test for the applied stereotype and we'll say part property. And hit OK. And notice our two ports disappeared. Let's now go back in here and do the reference properties. And I'm going to cheat a little bit. And I'm going to take the original part property query we created. Go to Edit, Copy. Go up to the root and do an Edit, Paste. And we'll rename this to Reference Property. And in fact, in this one, it's not going to be good to have that filter. So let's go in and get back to that filter. Let's look for ag. And I'm going to just remove it. I don't want it at all for that stereotype property again. And we're going to modify this to be reference property. The reason I'm doing this is I don't want to create an, a more complicated filter and I don't really need to make it m that complex. By just looking at the property, I'm, I've got something good enough. The only thing I really should change the color, maybe we'll make this a uh, darker green. But, uh, we'll, we'll put a slightly different line on it. Now you can clearly see the part properties and the reference properties. Let's add an additional re relationship for our two different kinds of ports. I'm going to start with the part property and copy it. Edit, paste. There we go. And this is going to be full ports. Let's open this up. And I'm using the composite because a port is a composite part. 
I just need to change the stereotype. So we'll remove part property and put full port here. Let's change the line type. Gonna edit, copy, another paste. And this will be our proxy port. And then same property change. There we go. There's proxy port and a full port. I like seeing value properties. I'm going to create a brand new filter. And on the input of the filter, I want simple navigation. And we're going to look for something called part. This is a little bit different. This isn't the part like you see it in SysML, but this is a notion in UML. I think this is probably specific to our tool. And on the filter, I'm going to do another property test, and in this case, stereotype of value property. Change its style, probably that blue-gray, and we'll leave it as a solid line. And you can see we got exactly what we're looking for, a little bit different legend than I had before but it all looks good to me. Well, remember to hit the subscribe button to see any new videos. And if you want to see specific thing in the tool, please leave a comment down below and we'll get around to making another video soon.